Hey, what is up everybody out there? Hopefully you're having a good day. So recently Universal has released quite a lot of stuff. Um, I guess they're just gearing up to try to like take over the summer with all these announcements and uh, things going on. So if you did not know, they already announced the first Halloween Horror Nights house. Click the card up there and it should take you to it. So recently they did release a lot of stuff including all the pricing, all the annual uh, pass holder pricing, all the blackout dates, all of this stuff that is very valuable information that I'm just gonna say it kind of had my head going like this. Really? Really universal? Now you see now, you know I'm not sure why Universal didn't just make this such an easy progress. Instead, you have to read uh, quite a bit to understand like what's going on. And I'm gonna stress this enough, is that a single day ticket to uh, Volcano Bay cost around $67. And I'm just gonna let you know right now, I think that is the best value of everything that I've seen. I think you just do one day, you experience it, you say you did it, you get your footage, you get your fun, your lazy river, and then um, you can decide later on if you want to, you know, maybe get a three-part pass and experience it more. So first up is that all of the uh, passes that they have now, which is the season, the power, the preferred, and the premier pass. Basically, all of these passes can be upgraded to a third park pass to feature Volcano Bay. All of these passes will have a blackout date from July 1st all the way to the end of July. That can sort of be bad, because what if you're planning your vacation down in July? Then you're going to have to buy a one-day park pass. Um, already to this park even if you want to upgrade and the reason why I'm guessing they're doing the blackout day is because the park itself is not really that huge I mean it looks kind of big when you're driving from uh, the highway and seeing the giant volcano uh, but that's it's not really that big if you think about it most of the actual park it's stretched almost to the road like some of the some of the slides are almost hanging almost over to the roadside so they really maximize as much land as they can but what happens basically is if you have a pass let's say that pass expires i don't know like november when you upgrade to your third park pass what's going to happen is it's only going to feature up until that september so you're going to be able to get in on may june not july August, September, October, September. So when you do your third part upgrade, you're gonna have to upgrade um, your pass as well as renewing your pass, if that makes any sense. So basically you're upgrading to a third part pass, but you're also renewing your pass as well. So keep that in mind because the cost is gonna get quite expensive. The preferred pass is $349.99 and the three park uh, pass is $448.99 so you do the difference between those two and that's what you're paying basically to upgrade and if you want to upgrade you can do it over the phone you can do it uh, at guest services as well um, I believe it's stated starting in April April 3rd is when you can uh, do this also if you're a premier um, pass holder and you're used to having the Express after 4 o'clock p.m that will not transfer over to Volcano Bay. You will not have that perk. You have to purchase Express uh, separately or use the, uh, whatever those <laughs> stupid watches are called, where you uh, get the wait in line, the Tapu Tapu. Yeah, you have to use those basically or buy Express. So also to note, just like at the theme parks where uh, preferred and premier pass holders get to get into the park for EPA, that will not be allowed for Volcano Bay. You do not have that privilege. The only way you're gonna be able to do EPA at uh, Volcano Bay is that you're gonna have to stay at uh, one of the theme park hotels, the resorts that are on the property, Porta, Portofino, Hard Rock, uh, Royal Pacific Sapphire Falls, and Volcano Bay. 
So you're gonna have to stay at one of those to do EPA at Volcano Bay. So they did state that there will be a pass holder experience. Who knows how that's gonna work out, whether it's gonna be a certain time or certain dates and you have to sign up with your uh, annual pass. But I think that's gonna be really good, uh, at least for pass holders to get an idea of if this is gonna be worth upgrading or not. Um, it would kind of suck to upgrade, get to the park, and then you find out, I don't really care for this park. So now you're gonna be paying more money for an extra park that you're not gonna care to ever visit. Yeah, that is it for the video, guys. What do you guys think about this Volcano Bay pricing? Are you excited? Are you not excited? I know a lot of people have been still commenting on my top five dislikes for Volcano Bay video. If you haven't seen that, you can click the card up here and check it out. Yeah, leave it down in the comment section. What do you guys think about the pricing? Are you gonna upgrade? Are you still gonna just go to the park as a one day? Or are you thinking about the third park? Or are these prices a little outrageous? I know I've been kind of combing through the Facebook uh, you know, comments and a lot of people are not very pleased about all this information. Yeah, but that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up for this video and also leave it down a comment. And uh, until next time guys, peace.